Hello, my name is Anthony Piccolo, and for my midterm project, I will be making pollo de ajo. Um, it's a pan-fried chicken in a white wine sauce. The ajo sauce is a white wine garlic sauce. Um, it's used for many different meals, many different meats, so it's something that um, is very common in Spain. It's from the Andalusia region, which is in southern Spain, which is very close to where Valencia is, so that's why one of the reasons why I just um, chose it. I wanted to find something that was very close to my region. I also decided to make it because it is a tapas, which is a like Spanish, it's a small meal or appetizer that's usually eaten at night. I wanted to find something like that because we don't really use that and see that in America. We usually see appetizers are with the main meal, not as a main meal. Um, so I wanted to create something that I might actually see, I might actually eat a lot in Spain. And that's what I want to do. Um, I'm going to be going to my local grocery store to find all my ingredients. So once I get that, I will be um, showing you there. And any other information, any ingredients, or anything for the history or stuff I found, they'll all be um, having sources at the end of the video um, in a picture, so. So for the first things we need for our dish is garlic. Next we need some parsley. Some chicken wings. White cooking wine. Sherry cooking wine, dried thyme, bay leaves. Okay, so our first step in making it, we take our chicken wings and the seasoning of salt, pepper, and paprika. And we'll just coat all the chicken. See? As you see right here, we move it around, add more, so like that. Here's what we have after coated chicken. Let's see. One of our next steps is taking our garlic. Kind of some that up. Knife skills aren't great yet, but. Here's what we have after, 12 cloves. The recipe said you could do 10 to 12, we used 12, so. Put the oil in, getting it ready for the chicken. We'll wait for that to heat up. Next thing we have to do is take our chicken and put it in the oil once it's ready. Here's we have like so, and then we're just gonna wait till that turns golden brown. More of our chicken, we're just gonna leave that in, move them around, make sure it's turning golden brown. Now that they're nice golden brown, we add the cherry wine, bay leaves, and garlic. Okay, right, so now, this is garlic. Cherry wine. Alright, bay leaves. And we're just gonna let that sit some more, like that. Now that everything's in, so just sit and wait. I'm gonna wait till the chicken's cooked and almost all the liquid's evaporated. It says about 20 minutes, so we'll see how long it takes. Put a little bit of extra seasoning, um, add some thyme. See. Still waiting, it's been about 10 15 minutes. Hopefully, a few more minutes left, and we'll be all good. Here's the finished product we took it out, plated, and put some chopped parsley on. We're gonna try it now and then get back with how it tastes. So, we just got done eating the dish. Um, it was honestly so good, like, so much fun to make great taste 
I really liked it, um, and it was very filling, like, I thought, like, only, th like, two or three chicken wings would not be filling, and as, as a tapas, which is usually, like, an appetizer, I wouldn't be full, but I could really eat that as a main course meal, so seeing that, now I know how the Spaniards and people in Spain can actually eat that as a real meal, it was great to see, um, I shared with my parents, my mom was around, she's a great cook, so she was around helping me, but I did most of the cooking myself, but we all enjoyed it, we all really liked it, and I will definitely be making this again, when moving to Spain, it's something that was so easy and the ingredients were so easy to find. It was right all in the grocery store, something that you could find anywhere. There was no really hard ingredients to find. So I could easily make this all the time. I'll make it for all my friends. And something I really enjoyed making. Um, going in, I really didn't know what to make, but like after researching for a little bit, I found this meal and it was so good. And there's so many different types um, with the ajillo sauce, which is basically the um, white wine sauce. You can make it with any kind of meat. And something I can definitely see myself making again for friends, family, and I would totally order again. I want to try it in Spain when it's actually a traditional meal because while I enjoyed what I made, it's definitely not as good as what I could really get in Spain. So it's something I'm really excited to try.